So hello, fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 64554637288. And unfortunately, Trump was right. There are good people on both sides and bad people on both sides and everywhere in between. So, I'm Earthling yada 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 and I had to sleep in my car once. And my once I mean, I mean like for a couple of days, for a while there, I was homeless because the lady whom I rented a room from, she basically lied to me and told me that she wasn't moving so I couldn't find other arrangements. And then she told me that she had to move, so I had to move, so that's that. And I had to pack everything into my car and sleep in the parking lot of my school, university. In spite of that, I was still able to get my MBA and I already had a computer science degree. And I have gone on to be a reservist in the military for a while and I've traveled a lot, and that's it for me for now. Anyway, um, Mr. Trump, as politically incorrect as it was to say, yeah, Mr. Trump was right that there are good people on both sides, and there are bad people on both sides. And, you know, the Bible is just full of that evidence for that. I think it was Jesus himself that said, even an evil man will not give his son a stone if he asked him for a fish or for food or for whatever. The most evil of people probably have something good. Now, there probably is some evil guy out there who would give his son a stone if he asked him for a fish, but that person probably has some other redeeming quality. And then there is the whole idea of uh, King David. King David is the most beloved of kings in the Bible by the Jews and the Christians. And King David not only got um, one of his generals or one of his men's wives pregnant, but he also arranged to have the guy put into the most violent part of the battle so he'd be killed so that he would not have to face the reckoning King David would not have to face the reckoning of having committed adultery with his subordinate's wife and then of course he married the woman but of course King David was forgiven for this and there are a lot of other people in the Bible who got a lot worse for a lot less like Lot's wife. She turned around to uh, see Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed and she was turned into a pillar of salt. Um, doesn't seem like such a horrible thing, but if you're a woman in the Bible, um, you better listen. Because, you know, even Lot himself was willing to give his daughters to the mob so that they would not uh, attack the angels that came to get him from Sodom and Gomorrah. So, uh, who knows where his daughters would have ended up? Who knows what would have happened to them? But this good man, Lot, that is what he was willing to do. And I also think of, there is a, a black guy, uh, a rather a round a black guy, large frame guy, who goes around and and has converted uh, many um, members of the Ku Klux Klan from in order to make them leave the organization. And the way that he did it was by befriending these people. He still saw these people. As a matter of fact, he said he liked these people. That's why he helped them. He could see that they were still good people, worthy enough of helping and being friendly with and
being a good person too, even though they believed in their racist ideals of the organization. He said some of these people, to the extent that even one of the leaders, I think, of one of these um, KKK uh, breakaways, breakaway organizations, even one of them converted, and he has their paraphernalia, he has the stuff that they used to wear at their meetings. And these are the people who would have been at the rally in, in Charlottesville, walking around, chanting that Jews would not replace them. Some of those people could have ended up at that event. But now they have renounced their beliefs and are no longer in the organization because of their interaction with this guy. So is it that they were bad people and then he made them good? Or is it that they were good people that were misled? Or is it that they just fell in with the wrong crowd? They're good people. So at this point, let me just say that it is a bit like the Matrix. And what does the Matrix have to do with any of this? Well, as uh, Morpheus would have told Neo, the agents can manifest themselves into anybody. And unfortunately, you know, they kind of swept it under the rug. But you end up having to kill the people whom, who are, you know, manifested or manifest an agent. Because what else are you supposed to do? You need to, to, to get rid of that particular agent, but the agent can't die. They just go from person to person to person. And that's the collateral damage. And unfortunately, these misguided good people who do good things for their kids and for their neighbors and for their friends and their family and their country and for the world, they are collateral damage in some instances because they can't be saved in certain instances in the matrix and in real life. Now, that said, there are many good people who do a lot of bad things. If we look at history, Germany, all of those people, I guess, were good people, but they participated in some way or another in the Holocaust. And after the Holocaust was ended, you couldn't just get rid of everybody who had some kind of taint on them. So they continue to exist. They're, everybody has good older relatives who have some really unfortunate, unfortunate it's a euphemism, right, views about women, about minorities, about people of different religions. They have some really unfortunate views about that. And if you look at it, everybody always says the same saying that I find to be ridiculous, which is that they just fell in with the wrong crowd. Their people, anybody that they're referring to, is just the unfortunate victim of people, other people who they fell in with. And that's, that's all that happened. They just fell in with the wrong crowd. But unfortunately, once you fall in with the wrong crowd, aside from the fact that that's how everybody would become indoctrinated into any um, ideology or, or a gang or anything like that, then you become the wrong crowd for other people to fall into. At some point, you have to give up the notion that they just fell in with their own crowd and realize, no, they are the wrong crowd at this point. And again, as I was saying, there are a lot of people that we look at and we 
don't know if they are an embezzler. We don't know if they abuse their spouses, male or female. We don't know if they carry unfortunate rumors, lies, if their jealousy leads them to do things that hurt other people. In a moment, or like Iago in Othello, a long, drawn-out plot to poison somebody's mind and abuse the trust that a person or people or country might have in them for their own revenge at being slighted like Iago with respect to Othello or for their own amusement or because they fell in with the wrong crowd and just, you know, have uh, an inaccurate view of the world, of how things are. So, Mr. Trump, 100%, there's nothing wrong about what he said in that instant. There are good people on all sides, and there are bad people on all sides. There are good people who have really bad habits. I, I remember where, let's say, for example, you are somebody who believes in, in equality of all for all. But there's a woman who is in your office and she might be the leader. She might be the manager. She might be the CEO. And it's not even that you set out to do something wrong, but that person might trigger something in you with respect to some other person. They might look like something, somebody else, that you don't even realize is a problem. I remember that this, this same kind of thing happened to me. It was not a long, drawn-out thing like Iago. I just realized that I was working with someone and I just didn't like them. You ask me, why is it? Why do you not? And I had no idea. Just something about them triggered me. And I don't think that I did anything that was so horrible or embarrassing. Um, just to, to put it out there, we went to a particular location and the person who in a way I felt kind of close to but upset with, they managed to collect. There were fruit, and they managed to collect a whole bunch of fruit. And I didn't have the opportunity to, to collect as much. So I said to them, hey, um, could I have some of your fruit? Because I didn't get the opportunity to get some. And they're like, well, that's your problem. And I said, well, you know what? Don't do anything for me. Just don't do anything at all for me. I didn't insult them. I didn't say that they were ugly. I didn't say that they were stupid. I didn't say that they smelled. I just said, okay, don't do anything for me. And I shouted it out, and I guess it was a little bit embarrassing. It came back to me that from that day on, that other person came to my office when I wasn't there to tell my, talk to my boss and everybody in the office and basically say any bad thing they could think of about me. What I came to realize afterwards was that this person reminded me of someone in my family. And that was a reason why I reacted to them in the way that I did, which to me wasn't even really that bad. I didn't care. It wasn't my responsibility to pay attention to what the person told me that this other person was doing. So I just went to them and I said, you know what? I'm sorry about what happened the other day. And um, yeah, they're like, oh, don't worry about it. And the same person who had reported it back to me, they said, you know, we can't even get that guy to say one bad thing about you anymore. What happened? I have no idea. And there it is. I had a reaction to this person. This person took it to the moon and back. And I apologized. And they stopped doing what they were doing. 
And anybody could have said that that was a great person. Anybody could have said that I was a great person. And it's something as simple as that led to me pretty much almost getting, well, not almost, I, I was going to get fired. I just left before it happened. Um, yeah. So Trump was right. We didn't want to hear it. We wanted to hear how bad those people were. But he was right. Maybe he was just saying it to, especially considering that the lady got killed by someone. We want to make feel like everybody in that group was like that. But that's not the case. Some people would have been really upset that she would have died or been killed. Anyway, that's it for me. And uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, unlike any of that stuff. And uh, with the idea that, hey, would you want somebody to do that if this were your recording? Have a good one. Peace.